Boom. Right. Hello and welcome to the video. In this video, we're going to do a really quick tutorial on how to do the Star Trails photo that I made in a recent Astro vlog. So let's get on with it. Let's jump into the computer and let's see how. All you're going to need for this is a, an intervalometer or a camera with an intervalometer built in and then just a tripod because you don't want any movement in between your shots. Right, first things first, I just want to say this little application here, Daisy Disk, really, really good, really worth a download. I had um, like 35 gigs spare on my hard drive and I just ran the software and I've now got 112 gigs, so it's definitely worth having a go. Right, next thing to do is go to the link down below in the description and download the software for this StarStacks. Brilliant software and it's free. Okay, we've downloaded it now. First thing you gotta do is um, stick your images into Lightroom because it can't take raw files, so it has to take a JPEG. What we're gonna do is edit these photos. Now, I was thinking I would speed through this really fast, but actually maybe some people are interested in how I edit my photos. I don't know. We'll do it slightly sped up. So, images into Lightroom. First things first, what I like to do is uh, I stick the white balance on auto, and then if I don't like the auto white balance, then I'll change it manually myself, but in this case, I quite like it. Then, first thing I normally do is start dicking around with the shadows, then the blacks, then drop down the highlights, always, and then play with the whites, like I just have here, and then sticking up the clarity slightly, and then, oh shit, I've just realized you're supposed to always enable the profile corrections first. That way you get the image um, as bright as it needs to be with the profiles. Anyway, should have done that first. Next, dick around with the sliders. Then we're gonna play with the curves. So I'm gonna raise the black slightly. I'm then gonna um, pull down a little bit of contrast into the image. And then I'm gonna mess around with the highlights a little bit until I'm happy with it. There you go, that's not too bad. Okay, next then. Uh, I'm not gonna mess around with the HSLs because we're basically playing with a black image. So I'm just gonna change the sharpening a bit on the image and play with a the mask there just so I'm only sharpening the stars. Next thing, I always hang a little bit of um, vignetting on all of my images and then we're gonna stick a gradient on. I wanna make the top half of the image loads of clarity and bring out the stars as much as I possibly can. Right, I'm going to mess around with the black so I'm going to bring up that clarity way 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 and I'm also going to put a little dehazing in. A uh, quick tip there that will always help your astro images especially the Milky Way. I'm playing around with the saturation but it doesn't really help. Okay done I'm happy with that. So there's a fair amount of light pollution in this image so I'm just going to mess around with the luminance and the saturation to try and reduce that as much as possible whilst still making it look natural. Next thing I'm going to just have a little try on the noise reduction but you don't want to do it too much because you end up taking away some of the stars. Now how I like to do my vignetting is using a radial filter not just the normal vignette slider. Okay, and within that, what I'm going to do is just bring a little focus to the center of the image. So I'm just going to up the highlights or just up the exposure very, very slightly. Then what I like to do is put another radial filter on and then bring down the blacks or the shadows in the outside of the image. So invert the radial filter. That's what I like to do in my vignettes. Right, done. I'm pretty happy with that image. Okay, so what I'm doing here is copying the settings from the image that I've just edited and then pasting them all the way across all the images. The more you can take, the better, because the longer the star trails will be. Okay, this is looking good. So what we're doing, I'm just gonna, um, I'm just gonna do a new folder here and I'm gonna export these images into that folder. Right, so I'm exporting these images into that folder. After it's done, we will drop it into star stacks. Right, cool. What we're gonna do now is open star stacks. So really, really simple program, brilliant program. All we're gonna do is grab all those JPEGs that we've just exported, drag and drop them straight into the program. Now, with the preferences here, this is how you mess around with how the image is going to look and the blending mode is probably the most important. So what I would say is have a play with them, um, go between the blending modes, this images and general, to be honest, I don't really touch at all, I just mess with the blending mode. So what I like to do is click on comet mode bring the trails as long as you possibly can, and then you just hit this little icon here that says start processing. This is why the more images that you can get, the better, because if you've got hundreds of images, you're gonna get better trails. Whereas if you only have like five or 10, you're not gonna get that. 
what it will do is also blend all of the foreground as well as the sky so if there's any imperfections in the foreground i'm thinking hot pixels and things like that then that's going to be amplified in this but we can fix that later okay so i'm quite happy with that okay so you see there that the star trails aren't really quite as long as i would hope them to be so i'm going to go back to the settings i'm going to drag that across to be the longer trails and click start processing again that's looking more like it okay so it's finished blending the images now i'm quite happy with that so all i'm going to do at this point is export that image so i'm going to stick that on the desktop and then what i'm going to do is put it back through lightroom just one more time so what it's doing is blending all those images together so it's also blending all the hot pixels as i said before okay let's import that and let's get rid of those hot pixels if there are any um, minor corrections that you want to do after the fact, so you might want to play around with the whites, you might want to play around with the clarity. All I'm doing here is going to get rid of these hot pixels. So I'm going to speed this up now and just work my way through. This may seem like a lot, but it's probably about five minutes work max. And there we go. So all of those are gone now. In my opinion, that's a really clean looking image. I really like that image. So I'm just going to export that now and then get that straight on Instagram for those likes. Right, so thank you very much for watching the video. I hope it was helpful. And then also I will hopefully see you again. So take care.